Well, hello everybody. I'm Charity Vongenis from Locus Projects, and I'm here with Tam Grin from Rally.io, who has created this incredible five-week course that we are hosting here at Locus Projects called Crypto for Creatives. And we just wanted to do a mid-course check-in with Tam on how things are going. So, um, Tam, you know, this is a really amazing course. I feel it's so important to be a corporate artist with a lot of this language and these tools. And I just wondered if you could expound a little more on um, how it's going and what yes. you're doing. Um, well, first of all, the reason why I created this course is because as, a, as an art curator, I'm very interested in like how art intersects with other industries because artists are the moral compass of society. They bring their values to new industries and in return, they should learn to monetize in new and exciting and creative ways that they wouldn't monetize if they just stayed in like the white box of a gallery or a museum or selling their work as a commodity. So when I started investigating into NFTs and cryptocurrencies as tools for artists to create passive income and to create actual sustainability as creators that own the art that they put out in the world uh, and to give their collectors and support systems the opportunity to also own those assets together with them in circular ways um, that bonds them together as a community. Um, you know, I started becoming really passionate about this topic. And uh, every time I tried to tell an artist in the past two years, you know, NFTs or social tokens or all these amazing tools that this new, new, new technology give us, uh, I got a lot of like black stares or resistance or fear or just like a lot of hesitation. So I decided to create this five week course in which I explain everything from like, what is the blockchain? Um, what are NFTs? What are social tokens? What are cryptocurrencies? Uh, how are they used? What is this new web free renaissance that we're going through? What is this idea of the metaverse? And how can creative use all of these tools to empower themselves? Uh, the same way they use the internet to empower their careers. Um, and I'm very excited to see students in the class using these new mental maps, thinking about money in new circular ways uh, that help them glue their communities together, that help them reward their supporters with actual digital assets. Uh, they're coming up with amazing ideas, and it's just really exciting to see the response and and this innovation in the space. Well, that's great. So just one more real quick question. You know, um, we, we've had some great dialogues and discussions here in class. Um, has there any, have been any kind of questions or issues that have popped up that have surprised you or that, you know, are especially interesting? So I... I am loving the hard and difficult questions that I'm getting from students. Uh, there hasn't been, you know, even though stupid questions are allowed and totally welcome because this is such a new daunting technology, a new space, all the questions I've gotten have been so on point. Like uh, artists understanding the basis of this technology, how it's built, how it works, what the what blockchain allows you to do as like the basis allows them to understand how everything else works and how does that apply to their own um, practices. So, for example, one of the things we've learned is how many behaviors we've inherited from gaming and how you know this idea of avatars and tokenization and digital currencies and NFTs and digital assets like all and even this connection between creators and their communities using Discord, using all these tools, those are behaviors that we're inheriting from gaming. And then we have art, and art and gaming are forming into this new thing called the metaverse. Um, and I see how artists in the class are starting to think about their projects using those mental maps in ways that even I never considered, because each creator has their own research, their own investigation, their own practice. And they're going to apply this new world in new ways. There is no roadmap. They have to take these ideas and build their own boxes and build their own roadmaps. Uh, and I think that's the most exciting thing to see in the class. Oh, it definitely is. And I think it's a testament 
to how well you present and teach this stuff because I think, you know, for so many of them, they didn't even know what to ask, you know. So um, I, I've had several of them say, I'm finally understanding this. So thank you so much for, for allowing us to host you and for creating this course. And we hope uh, this will be just one of many that we'll be doing together. Thank so. you so much for trusting me and for leaping into this future. I am so excited to see what comes out of this class, what new projects we'll see, um, that we can bridge the physical and digital worlds in ways where there's more equity, more representation, and more justice for artists' sustainable practices in Miami, just leading this movement uh, head on. It's such an exciting place to be. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> All right.